Now, we move from that into quickly feeling the pain if we have a boss like this. Because this is pretty typical, right? Bosses are going to be in a staff meeting. They're going to say, you know what? Organizations must learn to embrace change. Now, here's what all the staff is sitting back because they're all ignoring the pain, right? They're thinking, oh, no, it's another program of the month. Will this pass quickly, or will it linger like the stench of a dead skunk under the porch? Then the boss says this, you know what? I think we should do a change newsletter. Wait, wait, wait. I have a much better idea. Let's do a two-hour mandatory change program. Ah! You know what you're all thinking? thinking, oh, crap, it's a skunk. I thought like this maybe would go away, but they're making us go to a two-hour stinking program. So then the reality becomes we move very quickly into feeling the pain. Now, instead of focusing on other people, now we're going to focus on ourselves. And the number one issue we have is I have no control. I have no control. Everybody's making changes. I don't have any control. And not literally, but all of us have this stamped on our head, W-I-I-F-M. What does that stand for? Starts with what's. Go ahead. What's in it? for me. We immediately go to that place, don't we? Hey, if they're going to do this change, what's in it for me? What's going to happen to my hours? What, what, what's going to happen to my pace? Will, will I have to switch? Will I have to go and travel somewhere else to keep my job? We all go to the what's in it for me. How many of you have teenagers? Isn't this where they live? And you're thinking, hello, bigger world out there, but we become like teenagers. <gasps> what's in it for me? It's all about me. It's all about me. Hope it, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to me? And we fear, and we're worried, and we're concerned. And what happens is we will be worried about five things. Now, I have them listed in your handout right above the graphic. The first thing that all of us will do is we're going to evaluate our skills. Now, let me give you some examples of what you've said to make me believe that you're feeling the pain. Now, I literally could read dozens of comments. I'm going to only read my favorite ones. So this is what, and I asked, how do you feel about the changes? Anxious, nervous. Another one, hesitant. Another, you just have to deal with it and move on. There really isn't anything you can do about it. Indifferent. These changes are frustrating and scary in the future of our department. Insurance coverage and benefit changes. We know they're coming, but we don't get any definitive answers. Because I get so many more emails and requests to set up meetings, I'm overwhelmed. I think the most, the most difficult thing is the ambiguity about the changes. I know every detail cannot be figured out at one time, but it creates anxiety to have so much up in the air at once. It could be a very exciting time if staff understood how their role may change in the future. Big hospitals gobbling up smaller hospitals equals fewer choices equals lower quality of care. Now there, we have had three directors in 10 years, year, years leading to high stress, confusion, bad attitudes, and lack of cooperation within the department as we all just struggle to survive. Fewer staff, more responsibility, less hours, more work to do, more stress to mess up, more work, more mental stress, not feeling adequate. I'm fearful my license is on the line. I never know when my job or position will be eliminated. I feel like I'll have to find another job. And finally, it makes me nervous. And I could have read you dozens more. See, if you think about the theme and all of those comments, it's what's happening to me. How is this going to affect me? What's, what's going to happen to my job? How am I going to deal with this? And what we need to realize is we get scared about new technology because we wonder, do we have new skills? Do we have the skills to survive? Help.